Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this fifth clip of a series, we explain how other drives on your web line work and how to program them to work well. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. In the last clip, we showed how to program what may be the hardest drive in your entire plant, the winder drive. However, the principles are quite similar for your unwinds, and this would be true whether you had the most sophisticated servo or merely an air brake. In this clip, we cover taper tension, torque differential, and helper drives in less time than it takes to finish your cup of coffee. Most winders are able to taper tension to structure a wound roll. This means starting the wind tight, finishing looser, and doing the tight to loose program smoothly. Taper roll structure is often over taut. As if by building a solid foundation you can avoid most or many or any wound roll trouble. The truth is that taper is most helpful for only two of the dozen types of telescopes and only a few other defects. The number one thing I teach in my Web 101 course is proper diagnosis of defects. A wrinkle is not a wrinkle is not a wrinkle. The same with telescoping. The fingerprint test for type 1A that differentiates it from other telescopes is MD interlayer slippage as diagnosed with a J-line. However, the good troubleshooter will never ever rely on merely one observation for something as critical as a diagnosis. Thus, we look carefully at several clues about roll shape to confirm or disconfirm the diagnosis made by the J-line. Once you are certain that you have the diagnosis correct, then you could choose from a list of options. Here is the entire list, both pleasant and unpleasant. However, the go-to remedy for this telescope type and this telescope type only is programming the winder with something that resembles maximum taper. As I teach in my Web 101 class, all winders do is make tightness and occasionally defects. The knobs that make tightness are known as the TNTs of winding. Center surface wind torque differential is a winding tool that resembles the tension and nip knobs you may already be familiar with. This requires two motors. The sum of the two motors makes tension the difference of the two motors is the third tightness knob. The more power we put into the roll versus roller, the tighter the winding roll becomes, and vice versa. Center surface wind torque differential, often abbreviated as torque, can be tapered just like any other tightness knob. It takes two motors to make torque differential. In the last slide, we showed how to adjust tightness on a center surface wind by shifting power from one motor to another. There is no difference in principle with torque difference on a two drum winder. As more torque is put into the front drum, the wound row gets tighter and vice versa. Two drum winder torque differential can be tapered just like any other tightness knob. Helper drives can be used for heavy idler rollers, bowed rollers, rider rollers, and other rotary elements. Helper drives are an intelligent torque assist drive that is intended to not let inertia and drag tug on our customer, the web. 
Intelligence means that we calculate, measure, confirm, and compensate for inertia, as we discussed in the last clip. Intelligence also means that we measure and compensate for breakaway torque, as shown in the brown data point. Intelligence means that we measure a speed-dependent torque curve, as shown in red. This curve must be measured during startup, and then perhaps retuned after a month of breaking in a high drag element, such as a boat roller that has lots of bearings and a flexing polymer cover. So all three parameters, inertia, breakaway drag, and speed-dependent drag, is measured during the drive startup by a WebSmart drive programmer. The end result is a torque modifier that is fed forward into the correct part of the motor control program. There are many other drives that are better explained in articles or conference papers. Here are some of the best for drives used on accumulators, spreaders, and certain winder operations. Anyone working with webs should go to school. My award-winning and trademark Web 101 school has been taken by 5,000 students just like you. This training is available in plant, in public courses, and is video on demand through AIMCAL's Converting School Online. For those of you who work with web drives, you should go to a web drive school. Clarence Claussen is a world-class drive programmer and a world-class instructor. You can learn from Clarence also via video on demand training through AIMCAL's Converting School Online. For those of you who would like to learn from books, there is my must-have 500-page web handling handbook. Here you will find an entire chapter on web tension control. Here you will find an entire chapter on web drive control. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will show you how to quickly and surely tell if your drives are misbehaving and what to do if they misbehave. If you have any questions or topics you would like to hear about, email me. See you next time.